Now it's time for today's Casa Calendar update where we let you know what's going on. And today we're talking about Terra Nova opening this weekend at the Vortex Theater. Drawn from the journals and letters found on the frozen body of Captain Scott, Terra Nova blends the scenes of the explorer and his men at various stages of their ordeal with flashbacks of Scott and his young wife. And joining me now to give us the details is star of the show, Malcolm June, along with Mark Hisler, one of the co-directors for the show. Thanks so much for coming in, guys. You bet. Good morning. So tell us a, a little bit about the show. I kind of gave a very brief description, but tell us about it. Sure. Um, the first thing is it's written by Ted Talley, who's famous for writing the screenplay to The Silence of the Lambs. Um, so he's someone who knows about ratcheting up tension. Mm -hmm. um, and so it tells a version of the um, historical story of um, uh, Captain Robert Falcon Scott, a Brit, and Roald Amundsen, played by Malcolm, okay. um, a Norwegian, racing to the South Pole to plant their flag their flag there it was one of the few places that hadn't been claimed by anyone yet okay. no one had been to the geographical pole yet okay. now so this is based on true events so is that something that's more difficult or is it actually easier oh i'm not really sure um i just remember you know reading about the men who did this and thinking I'm not like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, so was it hard for you to kind of like grasp that and wrap your mind around, you know, somebody who, who is so, I guess, not like you? Yeah. Yeah. Just, um, you know, knowing that, you know, I'm a fairly athletic person, but I don't have any desire to go to the North Pole and like, <laughs> <Me neither. laughs> you know, um, you know, they, they would walk, march 800 miles one way to get there. And then once you're there, then you have to march 800 miles back. So, That's incredible. Something yeah. that I would not be interested in, in doing either. Now, I mean, obviously, when you're doing this, the stage is only so, so big. So is that kind of difficult, figuring out how you're going to work that on the stage? Um, it's a really beautiful set, but it's pretty much a bare stage. And um, a lot of it is done with paint. It looks kind of like an ice rink. Okay. Almost. And cool. um, so it's a long enough, um, we don't have 800 miles of stage, obviously, <laughs> but, you know, but, nope. we, um, but the actors do a great job of, um, of giving you the sense of um, uh, what kind of a trek this is. And um, there's an amazing sound design with wind. And so it's a very immersive experience. People who have um, watched rehearsals have said that as they've walked into the theater, they felt like they need to put on a sweater, okay. you know, that they now, feel Now, do you guys cold. actually turn the temperature down, or is it just because of everything that's going on? Uh, that's a great idea. No, we haven't, but with all this... <laughs> turn it down! Right, right, all this wind and this drop of temperature, uh, the drop in temperature is yeah. perfect. So, yeah, maybe we should crank up the AC before <laughs> yeah. people come Tell in. Tell everybody to wear a jacket. Yeah, yeah. Right. Now, okay, you're, you're a co-director, yes. which is a term that I'm not as familiar with. I mean, normally we just hear director. Sure. So, is it is it difficult working as a team? Like, do you guys butt heads, or...? Um, no, not really. Okay. Um, Aaron and I get a, get along like a house on fire, and um, we just you know <laughs> we just try to bring our strengths to it. Um, and what's nice is that if one of us is kind of tired, the other person can you know um, can kind of uh, okay. you know pick up the tension there, or um, working on two scenes at the same time. Great. Um, so now, do no, you guys have great. kind of a similar vision? Oh, I would say for sure. Okay, so Absolutely. that probably makes it a little bit easier. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. great. Now, it opens tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow, tomorrow. night, so, 7.30. So who would you say it's for? What group? I would say this show is PG-13. Okay. Um, there's no bad language. There's no nudity. There's some really cool gore that's okay. in the show. As you know, a lot of these, these guys encounter a lot of bad luck on the road to the pole, and even worse you luck would yes, on the way back. <laughs> so, um, so anyone who likes um, who likes thrillers, you know, the movie Everest came out recently. Yeah. Anyone who enjoyed that film would enjoy this. Anyone who's a history buff, okay. and like I said, anyone um, a student, I would say anyone uh, 13 years of age or older um, would really um, enjoy this play. Okay. And should come see it. Now, I mean, speaking of history, you know, Chad's very into history. What what year does this take place? I didn't ask that. Yeah, 1911, 1912. Okay. Right, right before cool. the beginning, the breakout of the First World War. Okay. And then how can people get tickets? They can go to www.vortexabq.org. Great. And uh, that's really the best way to get tickets is go to the website and they'll They'll set you up. Oh, and can I say also that yeah. um, opening weekend, um, which is um, Friday night at 7.30, Saturday at 7.30, and Easter Sunday at 2, okay. tickets are only $12. Oh, wow. So, a um, little deal for indeed, you guys. Indeed, yeah. Okay, great. Well, thanks so much for coming in. And you if bet. you guys want a link to where you can get tickets, just head over to casa.com. We'll have it there for you. And if you have an event that you want to submit to our Casa calendar, head over to casa.com. Click on the local events tab and then click submit. And